Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Boston National Historical Park. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Starting out with fact number one, Boston National Historical Park is one of six national historical parks located in the great state of Massachusetts. Fact number two, throughout four centuries, the story of Boston has been one of a revolution. Stories of dramatic change, intense conflict, painful exploitation, but also empowering pursuits of freedom. Fact number three, the earliest Native Americans adapted this landscape for their survival. They lived on the harbors, islands, and peninsulas for protection and trapped seafood on its vast tidal plains and used the coastline for rivers and transportation. When interactions with the Europeans began in the 1500s, people of this place were called of the tribe of Massachusetts. Fact number four, contrary to the notion that the streets of Boston are nothing more than paths of drunken humans and sober cows, many of the 17th and 18th century streets were laid out along the contours of the original shoreline, and the street junctions often occurred at important public places such as taverns, houses of worship, and other public buildings. Fact number five, before it became a city, Boston was a town. During Boston's 192 years as a town, all freemen of means could vote in town meetings and thereby have a direct vote in the lawmaking process. The transformation to a city form of government began in 1822, consolidated the power into the office of mayor and through a city council. Fact number six, though the colonial forces were ordered to defend Bunker Hill during the Battle of Bunker Hill, the fortifications eventually were built on the nearby Breeds Hill. Three attacks made by the British Army that eventually forced the colonists from the Charlestown Peninsula were made at Breeds Hill. However, the battle still became known as the Battle of Bunker Hill. Fact number seven, for 275 years, Faneuil Hall remains a site of meetings, protests, and debate right up to this very day. Because of revolutionary era meetings and protests took place so frequently at the hall, successive generations continued to gather at the hall in their own struggles over meanings of legacy of American liberty. Fact number eight, when Lucy Stone wrote to her sister-in-law Antoinette Brown Blackwell in 1852 about feminist rights and suffrage movements, it would be another 20 years before Massachusetts women could vote in limited school committee elections, nearly 70 years before women across the country could vote. And for many women, suffrage meant more than just a right to vote. It meant expanded social, economic, and political rights. Fact number nine, Boston has long served as an important port. The United States Navy recognized this in 1800 and built on the shores of nearby Charleston, one of the first six Navy yards in the United States. For 174 years, Charleston played an integral role in building and maintaining the United States' first Navy fleet. Fact number 10, the Dorchester Heights Monument commemorates the fortification of those heights on March 4th, 1776. After months of planning, George Washington ordered his continental forces and local volunteers to stealthily fortify this location with cannons. This military operation led British forces to evacuate Boston two weeks later on March 17, 1776. Since that historic norm, Dorchester Heights has remained a significant site to the local community and to the nation as a whole. Well, everybody, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little next one to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!